it going, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill, and yes, it's time for another pop-off with Madison. Obviously, today we have to talk about Hailey Bieber because the girl spent 48 minutes and some change of her most recent interview talking about Selena Gomez and her relationship with Justin Bieber. So obviously, we must discuss. So in the event you haven't been on the internet at all lately, then let me be the first to tell you that Hailey Bieber decided to sit down with Alex Cooper on the Call Her Daddy podcast, and for the first time ever, she discussed all of her drama with Justin Bieber's ex, which I hate saying that because Selena Gomez is so much more than Justin Bieber's ex, but you guys get the picture. She talked all about Justin and Selena and her involvement in the situation. She talked about the timeline of their relationship, some internet drama, her drama with her fans, the hate she receives. She really talked about a lot, and I wanna go ahead and break down everything she said about Selena Gomez for you guys right here, give you the highlights, give you the biggest takeaways. That way you don't have to watch the interview you know I am all about making sure I save the House of Hills time. But first, before we get into this piping hot tea, this is the first pop-up of the week, so you know I have to check in and see how the House of Hill is doing. So let me know how you are, what you've been up to, all of that good stuff down below. As for me, I just got back from New Mexico yesterday. I know my family did not want to leave my mom's family at all. Um, it was really, really hard to say goodbye, but nonetheless, obviously we, we have to. And also I wanted to share, because you guys will probably see it in my videos, I did get a new tattoo for my grandma. This is her heartbeat. Um, when she was in the ICU, the nurses put together these really cool little vials for us that had pieces of her heartbeat from the monitor. So me and 10 of my family members all went and got these tattoos, including my 77 year old great aunt, who is obviously my grandma's older sister. And I still can't believe that we all did it, but it's definitely going to be a memory that I hold very dear to me for forever. So in case you guys see it in my videos, I just wanted to explain what that is. But enough about me because I know straight to the tea people are like, Madison, this is some very pressing tea and I could not agree more with you. I am a little nervous about this. You guys, please be respectful in the comments. I know that we are passionate, but please remember to be respectful. I'm giving you an opinion. People are sharing their opinions. And here in the House of Hill, we respect other people's opinions, even if we disagree. Okay, you guys know I always have to give a little disclaimer whenever talking about Justin, Slane, and Haley, but now that that's over, Straight to the Tea people, go ahead and put this time code down there in the comments to help out your fellow Straight to the Tea people. And now let's get to unwrapping these Haley Weaver facts. All right, so as I mentioned, Hailey Bieber's interview with Alex Cooper on the Call Her Daddy podcast dropped late last night. And although Hailey Bieber spent the majority of the interview talking about Selena Gomez, she did talk about a few other things, like her marriage with Justin Bieber and how often her words are twisted when speaking about her marriage with Justin Bieber. She also talked about some things that her and Justin Bieber do in the boudoir. She talked about voting, and she also talked about how, you know, back in her hardcore partying days in New York, she would wake up and get a bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant with a blue Gatorade, which Alex Cooper just thought was the most relatable thing that she's ever heard, even though anyone who's ever been to New York knows that everyone gets a bacon egg and cheese sandwich. Anyway, like I said, the majority of this interview though was spent talking about Selena Gomez, and that's why I'm gonna give you the highlights and the biggest takeaways. Starting off with Hailey Bieber discussing why she thought that people were so mad when her and Justin Bieber announced their engagement. Now, Hailey Bieber said that one of the reasons she felt like people were mad is because they were so young at the time. She was 21 when they got engaged, Justin Bieber was 24. Hailey went on to say that a Another contributing factor to why people were upset was the timeline of where Justin was at before they got back together. Now remember, he was with Selena Gomez, or shall I say we all thought that he was romantically in a relationship with Selena Gomez. I'm gonna get into that more later. But as you guys know, he was with Selena Gomez and then just a few months later, boom, he was engaged to Hailey Bieber. Now Hailey said that the only people who really know the truth of the situation and what the timeline really was and how it really happened are her and him. Then Alex Cooper proceeded to ask Haley point blank if she was ever with Justin while he was with her, aka Selena Gomez, because many people on the internet call Haley Bieber a homewrecker or think that she wrecked their relationship. And Haley said, quote, no, not one time. When him and I ever started hooking up or anything of that sort, he was not in any relationship ever at any point. It's not my character to mess with someone's relationship. I would never do that. I was raised better than that. I'm not interested in doing that. I never was. Now, Haley Haley did go on to say that she understands how from the outside looking in, despite them being involved since they were 18, the timeline of them getting back together and engaged can look questionable because he was spending a lot of time with his ex. Now here's me circling back to the, you know, we thought Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez were in a relationship, but Haley is saying something different. So Haley basically claimed that Justin and Selena weren't official before her and Justin got back together and got engaged. Haley says that Justin and Selena were just spending time together and that 
that needed to happen before they could essentially have their life together. So specifically in regards to this timeline, Haley said, quote, I understand how it looks from the outside and there's a lot of perception there, but that was a situation where I know for a fact that it was the right thing for them to close that door. They were not in a relationship at the time, but of course there was a long history there and it's not my relationship. It has nothing to do with me, so I respect that a lot. But I know that it closed a chapter and I think it was the best thing that could have happened for him to move on and be engaged and get married and move on with his life in that way. Now Haley did say that it's hard for her to talk about this because she doesn't want to speak on either of their behalves, which I'm happy she said that. She said she respects that very deeply, but she knows what was going on when her and Justin got back together and she knows what had to happen for them to be able to get back together in a healthy way. Now after Haley addressed her truth in regards to the timeline and why it made people upset, Haley was asked about a lot of the hate that she receives online. Haley said that a lot of the hate and perpetuation of this drama again comes from people being confused on the timeline or people thinking that Justin should have ended up with someone else, which she said is perfectly fine. People can wish that all they want because that's not the case. She did say that she's become numb to a lot of the negativity she receives. She also said that she's had a lot of conversations with her psychiatrist and therapist about comparison because her relationship is constantly compared to Justin's past one and she's constantly compared to another woman woman, aka Selena Gomez. Haley said that she feels like a lot of people are like, why you though? And her response to that is, quote, I don't know. We fell in love and there was times I can confidently say we didn't know it was going to be each other. For example, she says when they first got together at 18, she quote, didn't no, she would end up with Justin. Haley went on to say that despite all the negativity she's received online, it hasn't all been bad. She said she does feel supported by many people and that being married to Justin Bieber has opened her up to a new audience and that she also feels very comfortable now being herself and letting people see her true self. She said she had to work on that a lot and that's actually why she wanted to get into YouTube and start her YouTube channel in the first place so people could see the real Haley Bieber. Now, another big takeaway, you guys, Haley went on to address some internet situations that have happened recently. First up, the 2021 Met Gala. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this. I did cover this on my channel, but a video went viral where you can hear people yelling at the Met Gala at Justin and Haley. They're yelling Selena. They're yelling Jelena. And it appears as though Haley Bieber starts crying on the carpet. That's what this viral video kind of proposes. And we see Justin Bieber wipe her tear away and we hear him say, you're good. Now, Haley was asked about this viral video during her interview with Alex Cooper and she said, that she was not crying, that is not true, and that's just another example of the internet perceiving something incorrectly. Haley said that what actually happened is she felt like she had something in her eye, Justin Bieber was checking to see if she had anything in her eye, he said you're good, and the whole reason she said that she put on sunglasses is because that was always part of the plan. She always wanted to take a few pictures with those sunglasses to complete her look. She did also say seeing that video back and after the fact, it made her think, quote, damn, that sucks that that's the energy people are putting out. She said it was disrespectful to her and her relationship, period, the end. She also mentioned that she's endured so much negativity that that day was, quote, another negative day, another negative slay. Now, one of the other big internet situations that she addressed was the TikTok she made where she was asking people to leave her alone. We also cover this here on my channel. She did say she was half joking and half serious. Essentially, what happened is she logged online one day and saw a comment and was like, we're still doing this. It's been years. Then she went on to say that she has come very close to wanting to say things things in the past, but she realized it wouldn't be beneficial, it would be her word against someone else's, and she struggled with that for a long time. That brings us to our next big takeaway when Alex Cooper asked Haley if Justin or anyone who's close friends with them has ever reached out to Selena and asked her to say something to stop the hate, and Haley said, quote, no, but what I will say is that she's been in this industry much longer than I have, and maybe there's something that she knows, like maybe it wouldn't fix anything. Now, I do want to go ahead and pause here because this is not true. Selena Gomez has has gone on Instagram Live and asked her fans to stop hating on Hailey Bieber shortly after she released Lose You to Love Me. She said that she does not condone people hating on other women. She does not condone tearing other people down. So Selena Gomez has in fact spoken out and told people to back off Hailey Bieber, but maybe that just accidentally slipped her mind during this interview. I don't know. Alex went on to say that she felt like Selena could leave a heart on one of Hailey's TikToks and that it would go a long way. And Hailey's response to that was quote, I would never expect someone to do that 
up for me. She doesn't owe me anything. Neither of us owe anybody anything except respect. I respect her a lot. I think there's no expectations. If that's something she felt was necessary, then it would be amazing. Now that brings us to our next big takeaway and actually one of the pieces of this interview that surprised me. Hailey Bieber admitted that she has spoken to Selena Gomez since her and Justin have gotten back together and that she's spoken to her since they've gotten married. In regards to the three of them, Hailey said, quote, it's all love. That's also why I feel like if everybody on our side knows that what happened were good and we could walk away with clarity and respect and that's fine. She also said that she's found a lot of peace in speaking with Selena Gomez. And then she was asked, you guys, to give a message to Selena Gomez's fans. And this was the message that she wanted to give to the fans. Haley said, quote, The first thing I would say is, you're not obligated to like me, but I believe that no matter what, there can always be mutual respect between people. And to me, that means you don't have to say anything. You don't have to like me, but you don't have to say anything either. She continued saying, quote, Behind this person that you're looking at on a screen is a person with a brain and a heart and emotions and issues that I face and so do you. Obviously, I have so many thoughts about all of this, you guys. And because it is only 7.20 in the morning, I had to film this video before my day really gets started. I have a lot to catch up on. But first, you know, the House of Hill takes priority and we had to discuss this interview. So I'm going to be popping off with coffee. I'm sorry to disappoint. But let's just go ahead and make this pop-up official. Grab your beverage and let's hydrate. Okay, so first up, I have to be honest with you guys, and I've mentioned this before, I need to say I am not a huge fan of Alex Cooper and her interview style. You guys know I also mentioned this when she interviewed Jamie Lynn Spears. I know that her shtick is kind of to, you know, have this super overly chill environment. No one's wearing shoes. We're slouching on the couch. It's just a conversation. I know that that's her shtick, and that's what got her a, you know, $60 million Spotify deal. I don't have a $60 million Spotify deal, so I guess who am I to talk? But but I don't know, for me, just something about her interview style, I'm just not a fan of. Again, it's just a personal preference. And it also bothered me that she never mentioned Selena Gomez by name. She was only referred to as her or Justin Bieber's ex. And in my opinion, if you're gonna go there and you're gonna ask those questions, then freaking say her name because we all know who you're talking about anyway. And I understand that that might have been something that Haley didn't want or her team was like, hey, don't say the S word. But I don't know, just something about us never saying her name felt super irritating and I was just like if we're gonna go there let's freaking go there you know what I mean but the other thing that bothered me is that consistently throughout the interview Haley talked about how you know this was so long ago we've all moved on why can't everybody else move on it's all love and respect we have peace with it why can't everyone else have peace of it and if that's the case then why was the majority of this interview spent talking about Selena Gomez and the drama of her and Selena Gomez like to me it just seems a little contradictory that you all have moved on, but yet here you are sitting here four years later really diving into all of this for the first time ever. Personally, if it were me and I were really moved on from the situation and I really made peace with the situation, I would be like, look, I understand I'm on Call Her Daddy. If you want the tea, you really want this information that I've never shared before, you can ask me three questions and then we're gonna move on and you're gonna ask me about my business. You're gonna ask me about my career. You're gonna ask me about my life. Hell, you can even ask me about my marriage to Justin Bieber all you want. But I am not going to spend the majority of my interview talking about my husband's ex because it is a mute point. So I just find it very contradictory that Hailey Bieber was saying, it's all mutual respect, it's all love, it's all peace. Why can't everyone move on when here we are sitting here bringing this all up? Now as far as my thoughts on some specific things that Hailey Bieber said, I was absolutely flabbergasted when she said that she did not consider what Justin and Selena were in before they got back together a relationship. That that was very shocking new information to me because you know what we were seeing from the outside in the perception from the public to use one of Hailey Bieber's buzzwords was that Justin and Selena were traveling together they were seen kissing at his hockey games they were seen spending time with each other's families they were going to couples therapy to work on their relationship I mean in my opinion when I remember all of those things the perception was very clear that Selena and Justin Bieber were back together and 
and they were in a romantic relationship. Also, I don't know if Haley has ever listened to Lose You to Love Me, but Selena Gomez also definitely felt like her and Justin Bieber were in a romantic relationship before him and Haley got back together. And I understand that that is Selena's truth and that is Selena's version of events. And obviously it's going to differ from Haley's. I'm just telling you guys that that is why I personally was very surprised to hear that Haley Bieber was like, oh, they weren't in a relationship. They were just spending time together. They needed to figure some things out and close their chapter so you know Justin and I could move on and get back together and get engaged and have this life that we have now. The other thing that surprised me is when she confirmed that she has personally spoken to Selena Gomez, especially when she said that they've spoken since her and Justin have gotten married. I did not actually think that was the case, but I'm happy to hear it's the case. I absolutely 1000% believe that her and Selena have spoken and I absolutely 1000% believe that they have come to a mutual respect, which is why, again, I don't understand why Haley Bieber decided to bring all of this back up now. It seems really odd to me that if you've had a conversation with this person who you've had beef with, where you both have kind of waved the white flag and said, okay, I respect you, you respect me. We all three have respect for each other. We've all moved on from the situation. It's very interesting to me that now you sit down to share your truth and share your version of the events. Haley obviously has every right to do so. I'm not saying that she doesn't. She obviously has every right to share her side of the story and to share her truth. I just feel like the time to share her story and to share her truth was probably two or three years ago. I find the timing of this interview a little suspicious. And the reason why, as you all know, Selena Gomez has a documentary coming out. This documentary was filmed over the past six years. Now, I'm not saying that Hailey Bieber wanted to do damage control. I honestly don't personally believe that she did. And the reason why I say that is because, you guys, she did look uncomfortable during this interview. She did look like she did not want to be discussing what she was discussing. And you guys know how I feel about Justin Bieber's team. You guys know that I feel like it's not Justin. I feel like Justin has moved on from Selena Gomez, to be completely honest, which hello is obvious. The man is married and Selena Gomez has very moved on from Justin Bieber. We don't even have to get into that. She definitely wanted to close the chapter on him as well. So I'm just saying, I feel like the timing of this interview is very suspicious. I don't think that Haley necessarily wanted to do it. I don't think that Justin necessarily wanted her to do it. I feel like some people, <clears throat> maybe Scooter Braun, are the reason why Haley Bieber had to do this interview. But again, that's just my own opinion. That's just my own pure speculation. But overall, I don't think the interview was necessarily bad. I'm happy that her and Justin have, you know, allegedly moved on. They are so happy with one another. They're proving the haters wrong. And let's not forget that Selena Gomez is totally, totally fine and never feels the need to bring these people up because hello, like I've said a thousand times, the girl is living her best life. She is booked and busy. Like I said, she has this new documentary coming out. And let me just go ahead and say, I don't think that any podcast interview can take away from Selena Gomez's documentary. However, I do think that the documentary is going to go ahead and kind of drudge a lot of this drama back up because I think when people see Selena Gomez going through things that happened, you know, through six years of her life, they are going to be upset. They're going to be angry. And I think Justin and Haley are definitely going to be thrown right back into the mix. But yeah, so everyone just buckle up because I'm telling you, I really have an inkling that this whole Justin, Haley, and Selena thing is nowhere near over yet. Especially because, you know, Haley talked about how she's still working through feeling like she needs to correct every narrative. So I feel like as soon as this documentary comes out, we're going to get some passive aggressive Instagram stories and Instagrams. I can just feel it. So everyone buckle up, prepare yourselves. And now that you know what I think about Haley Bieber's Call Her Daddy interview, I want to hear your thoughts. So let out all your thoughts and feels down below. While you guys are at it, please give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back to my channel to check out my YouTube shorts. If you guys want to show me a little extra love or you just want to make sure I see your comment, don't forget you can hit that super thanks button down below. You guys can also check out all of my merch over at my merch store at houseofhill.com. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. The sun is literally coming up. <laughs>